Slice. Hello, and uh, welcome to uh, Dragon Quest Nine. Now you're probably thinking, wait a minute, you didn't complete Dragon Quest One, and you also didn't complete this, and you also didn't complete this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. I know, leave me alone. Okay, leave me alone. Uh, Dragon Quest Nine. Uh, one of my favorite games of all time. I, I love this game. I love it so much. And uh, I've beaten this game uh, at least four times. At least. Uh, but yeah. I absolutely love this game. One of my favorites. And uh, rip Akira Toriyama. Rip. Because uh, without him we wouldn't have Dragon Quest. Without him, we wouldn't have Dragon Ball. So, uh, this is a sort of tribute to uh, the good old Akira Toriyama. So, yeah, Dragon Quest IX. <laughs> I love this game. Now, obviously, emulation, um, it's going to lag at times. The sound's going to lag, but uh, we're going to get through that. As you can see, here's my save file right here uh, 40 hours. Very good, very good stuff. Uh, let's delete. I sure want to delete your adventure log. Yes, I do. Even though it saddens me to do it because I was doing a lot of post game stuff, but uh, let's create our new log here. We're going to be a male. I am tall. Uh, that hairstyle, good, good. Even though my hair is not this color brown, we're gonna actually. It looks, it looks like a dark, dark brown. So. Uh, eyes. Boy fit. Skin color. Green eyes. Ba, 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 ba. Begin your adventure with this character. Yes. Now, on the way out here, we emphasize uh, more use on the bottom screen because that is where all the action takes place. The only thing that takes place on the top screen is your map and your treasure map. Hello. Is there anybody there? If you're there, say something. Show yourself. Thus do the voices of the mortals plead, ever hopeful of proof of our existence. For how long have we watched over their realm? For how long have we Celestrians existed? So here we have the quiet little village of Angel Falls. You have come far, David. I must confess to having had my doubts when you became guardian of the village in my stead. But its inhabitants continue peace and safety as proof of your devotion. When Epis Major bade me, Akila, take David as your apprentice, I never imagined I would see you bloom so. You are worthy of a title indeed, David, guardian of Angel Falls. Hmm. <laughs> Don't ever get old, my dear Aaron. You don't ever want to get old. Oh, Grandpa, it's not much farther now. I'm sure you'll make it. Except for the cruel cumber. Cruel cumber? Is that a no? That's not a cruel cumber. That's a. Is it? I forget his name. How do I forget his name? Two slimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. These wicked creatures must not be allowed to ambush innocent members of your flock, David. Come, Guardian of Angel Falls. It is time to fulfill our, our duty as Celestrians. 
We take flight! Okay, so far sound is not lagging. I think it's because I switched from cell phone to OpenGL, but uh... So far, so good. Yeah, you're fighting us. It is a cool camera. I'm, I'm stupid. I am stupid. Let's, uh... Let's just, let's just do an even, even screen. Because I forgot that the battle action takes place on the top screen. Seven experience, 13 gold, no chest. Sad. No chest. Sometimes you get a chest there, it'll be a medicinal orb or something. See, Grandpa? There's Angel Falls up ahead. Ah, uh, I honestly believe I never set my tired old eyes on the place again. But here we are at last. Oh. But don't be so melodramatic, Grandpa. The village party will be watching over us all the way. Nothing bad could ever have happened to us. Benevolent David, thank you for protecting us on our journey. Behold, David, benevolence, the crystallization of the mortal's gratitude towards we who watch over them. As Celestrians, our cardinal duty is this offering up of the sacred substance unto mighty Ixtrasol, the world tree. Come, David, let us return to the observatory, that you may make your offering. I'm sorry, the great world tree. Not the world tree, the great world tree, Ixtrasol. Extra silly. The great world tree. Here we have the observatory. The first task the Guardian must perform upon returning from the Protectorate is to report to Abbas Major. As unchanging as the North Star, you shall find him in the Great Hall. I have other matters to attend to. You must excuse me. Sure, Colonel. Welcome home, David. You return to us from the Protectorate, I take it. And you must go and report to Abbas Major. I hear that you went below to the Protectorate, David. I am impatient to be assigned a guardianship myself that I may descend to begin my good works. The door is locked. The door is locked. You wish to know why we Celestrians were appointed to watch over mortal kind? Why, because it is the will of the Almighty, child. What more reason do we need? David, is it true that mortals cannot see us Celestrians? Yep. Truly? So they do not see us even if we stand right before their eyes? We're feeble beings. I know. We gods! So you return with Benvalescence collected in a lance blow? You are a credit to us, David. But such is to be expected from one chosen by Akila, who declined for so long to take an apprentice. There's a book called The Creation of the World. David takes it from his shelf and has a closer look. In the beginning, the Almighty created mortal kind. Later came the Celestrians. The long lifespan, their graceful wings, the halos above their heads, all bear testament to their vast superiority. The Celestrians are a gift from the Almighty, bestowed upon weak, foolish mortals in order to guide and protect them. Yes, puny mortals. You wish to know the whereabouts of the Great Hall? Your memory is a veritable black hole, David. It is at the top of those stairs, where it has always been. Sorry, but for tutorial purposes, 
If only we pupils were able to choose the teacher we were assigned to school us in the ways of the Guardian. My teacher is kind of hard, but somewhat lenient. Had I been given the choice, I would surely have chosen Aquila or Columbo. The observatory contains many such statues as this. The wings the halo, as you can see, it represents a perfect celestial form. Mortals pass away at the slightest hint of sickness or injury, and we and our weakest spirit. I thank the Almighty I was born a Celestrian. To be born mortal will be a truly sorrowful fate. Legends tell that when mighty Yggdrasil bears fruit, we Celestrians will finally return to the realm of the Almighty. Hmm? You'll return for the Protectorate, bearing venom lessons of plenty? Then it shall not, then it shall not be much longer. Talk to you. In a time beyond memory, the Almighty placed the observatory in the emptiness of the heavens to protect mighty Ixtrasil. Having done so, he entrusted its care to the Celestrians and returned to the realm of the Almighty whence he had come. So in this room we have pots. We didn't get anything from them. We have a chest here which has a chimera one. We Celestrians are forbidden to stand against our superiors. Aquila is your teacher, is he not? I pity you. He is unrelentingly strict. The door is locked. <laughs> Greetings, David. You have been to the realm beneath, have you not? As I am sure you are well aware, mortals are unable to see we Celestrians. Nonetheless, there are still many of <laughs> No! Nonetheless, there are so many among them who believe in our existence. How can those be? Well, I don't know. You are David, recently appointed Guardian of Ancient Falls, correct? All Guardians and their assignments are registered here. Thank you. That is a crystal of lessons that you carry, is it not? It is beautiful, truly beautiful. Would you perhaps allow me to have it as a gift? No! Hmm. Understandable, I suppose. We Celestrians lived for many, many years, but Apis Major is by far the longest lived of all of us. He is truly an elder. Some say he has lived for tens of centuries, others that his life may span even span tens of millennia. My teacher Columba and your teacher Aquila are close, are they not? I understand that they have been debating their differences in good-natured argument for as long as anyone can remember. I was surprised to hear David's promotion. I did not expect you to permit it so soon. You assume too much, Columbo. I also believe it is too soon for him to take on a guardianship. It was Apis Major's decision. Indeed, how amusing. I might have known. It is no laughing matter. David is but a fledgling. What if something were to happen in the Protectorate? Do you forget the tragedy of Corvus so soon? <laughs> no, of course not, but... We have been forbidden to talk of that matter here in the Observatory, have we not? David, <laughs> how long have you been standing there? Why do you stand idle, David? You have yet to make your report to Abbas Major. Do you really wish to keep him waiting? Make haste. He is in the Great Hall just beside us. Okay, okay. Hold your freaking horses. The white wings and halo are the marks of Celestrian kind. Our wings grant us the power to traverse the skies, while our halos confer upon us the sacred power of the Almighty. Can I break these? Five gold. Here in the observatory, we are troubled neither by monsters nor by evil beings, but it is not so in the protector. The weapons here are gathered that we Celestrians may stand guard over our mortal charges in the realm beneath. Well met, David, apprentice of Aquila. Welcome back, David. I trust your absence has not been so lengthy that you forget your old master Apis Major. My congratulations on successfully completing your first task as a guardian, David. You have performed your duties well thus far, albeit under Aquila's watchful gaze. But the time has come for you to spread your own wings. What say you? Are you ready to undertake your duties alone? Ho ho ho! I see you are a ra I see you are a confident apprentice, David. Very good. The young have confidence where the old have experience. And so we come to the next of your duties. I believe you have acquired a crystal of benevolence, have you not? The essence of mortal gratitude. 
You must offer it unto the great world tree Ixtrasol, who shelters us from our nurturing bells from atop the observatory. She will soon bear fruit at last. Go now, and do as I have instructed. Okay. So if you press Y at any time, you get the story. Following his teacher Achilles' footsteps to his become the guardian of Angel Falls, he has learned that a guardian's duty is to help those under his care and gather their gratitude in the form of crystals and better lessons to offer up to the great world tree Ixtrasol. I mean, am I gonna talk to everyone in this game now? Why did I do it anyway? <laughs> I don't know. So if we come over here, we have a chest here, which has 50 gold. Now, if we come over here, if we just speed up along here, we come over on this side, nope, there's a Over on this side, there is another chest, I think that has a wake robin. Yep. Major is saying you to offer better lessons on mighty Instrasol, then you may pass. I guard the staircase because I don't know why. Allow me to pass, mortal. <coughs> Do you know who you're dealing with? Offer the better lessons up to Instrasol? Yes. Unto whom I offer the bound lessons we gather not truly beautiful. Gathering and offering up bound lessons is the most sacred duty with which we guardians were charged. I trust you will perform your duties well, David, guardian of Angel Falls. I have been thinking, David, guardian of Angel Falls. To address you as guardian of Angel Falls is both convoluted and inconvenient. You will henceforth allow me to use this form of address only when formality dictates I take it. Good. It is well that you succumb to my recommendation so readily, my pupil. As you are more aware, the law forbids us lesser and to oppose the superior. Now go to, Ap go to Appa's Major and tell him of the successful completion of your task. Yes, Papa. Appa's Major, go to him. Now, do your duty. Mighty Ixtra Soul appeared to you. She was fiercely aglow. Ho ho ho. It seems the time may soon be upon us. As I'm sure you are aware, it is we Celestrian's duty to tend Mighty Ixtra Soul until such time as she bears fruit. It is to this end that guardians watch over mortal kind and gather bed of lessons. And now, David, guardian of Angel Falls, I believe you know what you must do next. You are to return to the Protectorate and continue to gather bed of lessons, this time without Aquila to accompany you. Make ready, and then speak with the female Celestrian and stands guard over the great portal on the floor below. May all the bodies of the heavens watch over you, David, guardian of Angel Falls. That title is both convoluted and, you know. Does it really need to be addressed every single time? 
David has delivered a crystal of blessings, gathered an angel falls to mighty Acer soul, setting the great world tree aglow. Ah, David, you wish to descend to the Protectorate, I take it. So, David, the time has finally come for you to descend to the Protectorate alone. Good luck, Guardian David. May the assistance you bestow upon the mortals of Angel Falls give rise to galaxies of benevolence. But I sure hope so. It really is weird. What's weird? You made that name thingy on the Guardian statue, Ivor? Of course I mean that name thingy, Hugo, you don't. I'm sure it said a key something before, but now it's David. Really? Well, it said David for as long as I can remember. And how long is that exactly? Do you remember reading it before? Er, I... That's funny. I, I can't say that I do. You see? Everyone out here is weird. It's only just changed and everyone thinks it's been like that forever. Aha! You must be working a village guardian then. Don't be such a wally. There's no such thing as guardians. They're just made up rubbish. There's only Aaron who believes in all that nonsense. She's such a dumb but brunette. So if we come over here, a keepsake ring. We don't need the dog to help us find it. That Ivor is so full of himself, huh? Just because he's a mayor's son, he thinks he owns the place. Please, Guardian Dad, can you answer my prayers and teach him a lesson for us? Aaron's always going on about how everything is thanks to the Guardian. Stupid if you ask me. If this Guardian really exists, why doesn't she introduce it to me, eh? Teach Ivor a little lesson? Yeah. Bitch! Ow! What the? Who did that? The village guardian, I suppose. Oh, my guardian! If you're in there, shouldn't you be helping people, not going around hitting them? <laughs> That's what you get. That is what you get. Please, guardian David, help to reunite my husband's ring and I. Yes. It's funny. My coat suddenly feels a wee bit heavier. Lord Almighty, it's my Bruce's ring! Well, I just don't understand it. I started shying low for this old thing before and I couldn't find it anywhere. It must be David's doing. Aren't we lucky to have a guardian who watches over us so well? Thank you. Thank you, David. Give me the crystal. You mortal. One crystal. Ah, ah, ah. So yes, this guy, we have to pick up all the horse dung. Hoy! Is it that much trouble to keep your barn in check? Ah, no! I can't believe I fell asleep again! What the? How come it's so clean? I only just started to tidy up and I dozed off. Ah, that must be it. The Guardian's been helping me while I've been asleep. Thank you, David. I will card off from now on, I promise. I'll have me another horse in no time, you'll see. I don't know why I did a Scottish thing there, uh, mainly because uh, some of the dialect in this game is Scottish. Half the time it's British. Ah! Just got another crystal of essence. What you doing here? You are taking your new role very seriously. I am glad to see David. What is it? You feel that your old master does not trust you to work alone. It is my duty now to patrol the entire protectorate. Though you guard it well, I must sometimes revisit my old territory. And as I'm here, David, there is one last lesson I must teach you. 
as guardians, it is our duty to tend to our mortal flock. But this means more than merely watching over the living. Sometimes we must help those who have passed away, but if souls continue to roam the land, you hear it too, do you not? The voice of a wandering soul here in the village in need of your assistance. I do, and I see him right over there. See, see, like that. <laughs> What's wrong with people around here nowadays? Why does everyone give me the cold shoulder? Eh? Oh, someone is prepared to give me the time of day at last. Listen here, you tell me how come everyone's ignoring me. Hang on a minute, what, what's with that get up, eh? You, you ain't a... My days, you are. You're a Celestian, ain't you? So I've... I'm already... I've breathed me last, is it? Go on, you can tell me, I can take it. That's what's happening, isn't it? Cheers to being served me, Mr. Uh, Celestian. So basically, I've kicked the bucket, right? Well, it's a good thing you told me. When I thought everyone was just ignoring me, I was about ready to do myself in any way. But now I know what's what, I can just get on with it and, well, you know, rest in peace and all that. I'm sorry, that's my Tamagotchi. <laughs> You have done well, David. Oh my god. The benevolence of a departed soul shines more brilliantly than any. You will be returning to the observatory for post haste, no doubt. And I shall bid you farewell for now. I have much to do here in the protector. Hmm? It's truly one of a kind, like stars shine beyond night time, are you there? The Starflight Express. Indeed, it has been unusually active of late. I've changed my mind. I shall accompany you to the observatory after all, David. Wee! Yay! I have important matters to discuss with Abbas Major. Please excuse me. Sure, Krillin. To the Great Hall. By the way, if you didn't get those chests now, um, I would, because you won't be coming back here for a while. So, uh, get all the items that you need to get before you get here. Well met, David. Truly, you have chosen a fortuitous moment to join us. Behold, Ixrasol. She is ready to burst into bloom with all the medical lessons we have offered on her. Ho ho ho, yes. She is but a hair's breath now from very fruit. Big Bloom hails the opening of the heavenly gates and sets the celestials on the path to salvation. And lo, it shall be in the celestial carriage that we, the chosen custodians, journey unto the realm of the Almighty. It is time, David. Offer the benevolence you have gathered unto mighty Extrasol. Do so, and she will surely bear fruit at long last. Behold, the sacred figs bloom. The celestial chariot appears. Praise be, all is as it was foretold.
What is the meaning of this? Were we deceived? And there's the intro. <laughs> da, 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 da. Hey, it's that David character who turned up just after the earthquake the other day. What you want? Oi! Wakey, wakey! What are you doing there staring off into space? I don't know what Aaron thinks she's doing bothering the lights of him. He won't tell us where he's from, his clothes are all weird. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. I bet it's his name that's got Aaron so keen. It is the same as our village guardians, after all. Huh, I doubt it's even his real name. I bet he's just a no good wandering minstrel taking out a guardian's day to get a free lunch. Well, listen to this, oddball. I won't let you get away with any funny business on my patch. Yeah, watch your step. Ivor doesn't like your Aaron giving all our attention to you. Shut up, you idiot! Why would you say that? Uh-oh. What's going on? What are you two bothering David for? Uh, hi, Aaron. Nothing's going on. Just, uh, teaching David here a few village rules. Anyway, we're just leaving. Come on, Hugo. I don't know why Ivor's so full of himself these days. He never used to be like that. Anyway, you must be feeling better now if you're out walking around, David. Coming up here reminds me of when I first found you. I was so surprised. You must have got caught up in an earthquake and fallen from the top of the waterfall. You're lucky you survived. Anyway, I'm heading home. There's nothing more to do at the end for now. Enjoy the rest of your walk, and make sure you don't ever do it, okay? I'll see you back at the house. Okay. At least you're nice to me. The observatory was attacked by beams of light, causing David to plummet from the heights down to Angel Falls. Although kindly helped by a young woman called Aaron who runs an inn there, David has suffered a devastating blow. He has lost his halo and wings. Yes, I have. It's a sad fate. So, if we come in here... Hopefully there's something... Okay, good. Do you know what the stylus is? It's some kind of pen thing that you can use instead of the buttons to control the game. Whatever game that might be. Yeah, whatever game that might be. It's not like we're in a game, right? Isn't it about time you did something useful for yourself rather than just hanging about the place causing trouble? You'd do well to take a leaf out of Aaron's book. She puts a lot of hard work at the end, that girl. Huh? What's Aaron got to do with it? I am trying to find something I want to do anyway. And when I figure out what that is, I'll work my socks off. Probably. 
Hey, what are you doing here? Huh? I didn't want anyone to see that. You better not tell Aaron, okay? I mean, please don't tell Aaron. You're that minstrel who fell from the top of the waterfall, aren't you? The one who Aaron took in. If your injuries are healed, then I suggest you find some work rather than just hanging about the place. I suggest you stop being a dick instead of being a dick. You enjoy being an ass? So we're gonna come down here to this waterfall. Right, something, nothing. A set of plain clothes. Uh, still 14. Hey, looking good. Because we're not gonna need our uh, Celestrian gear anymore. Spots, spots, spots. Nice. Hello, Ken David. I just this minute, I just I've just this minute finished preparing the food. You look like you've had quite a long walk. I expect you probably just want to eat your dinner and turn in for the night, don't you? Oh. Wait, what? What? Yes. Well, let's eat. Can you help me lay the table? You can have rest as soon as we finish eating. Don't worry. Morning, dude. Come on, get up. You have a visitor. Ivor's here. He's got something or other he wants to talk to you about. He knows you're here, so I can't very well turn him away. Just give him a few minutes of your time, okay? What's that little fuck want? More gold. Wait, seriously, what, what exactly could he want? Hey, David. Don't look so surprised. There's something I want to talk to you about, that's all. We can't talk about it here, though. Come outside a minute. So here's the thing. You've heard about how the pass has been blocked by a landslide, right? Well, that pass is a lifeline for us here in Angel Falls. We're totally cut off and we can't use it. It's a real problem for, e a real problem for everyone in here. So I was thinking, what better time for I-4 to come to the rescue? I'm going to clear the landslide and make it passable again. It'll get my dad off my back for a while and... Damn it, this fucking controller. Since the earthquake, there have been lots of monsters about it. It's pretty dangerously to do it now. That's where you come in. I was thinking that maybe you could tag along. You minstrel types are generally pretty handy with scrap, right? Can I count on you to help me out? Knew it! Right then, you lead the way, David. It's easy enough to find. You just head out of the village and fall the road east. But yeah, let's keep this to ourselves, okay? We don't want everyone sticking their beaks in. So Ivor has now joined us, and uh, I think this is a good place to stop. Let's go ahead and save our game. No matter who you are, who or what you are, the Almighty will offer, always offer his divine protection to you. All living creatures are children of the Almighty. Confess your sins. 